Cambodia right now there's a lot of uh, change going on in terms of developing uh, new water sources, uh, improved infrastructure to deliver um, cleaner water to homes in rural and peri-urban areas, as well as a number of um, household level products that can be used to treat water that's unsafe to drink in order to make it safer and cleaner to drink. Uh, Watershed's involved in supporting a number of uh, products and services around uh, improving water quantity and uh, treating drinking water in the home. And as part of that work, uh, this study is hoping to uh, shed some light on how households, uh, especially uh, lower income, poorer households in Cambodia, uh, make their decisions about what kind of water they're going to drink and whether they're going to treat it or not so that we can through our work in watershed design better products, uh, products that people want and will use uh, to improve the safety and quality of their drinking water. We are out visiting families in some villages that have been identified by the uh, provincial workers as areas where there are some different treatment products available and we're interviewing families, uh, ideally families that kind of cross the spectrum of socioeconomic status as well as family size and family makeup. Um, a lot of the families that we're talking to are intergenerational so they'll have young kids that might be grandkids, then uh, adults with kids and their grandparents all in one household making different decisions about what water they drink. We're in four provinces, uh, we've been doing this study and are using a number of unique methods to try to understand some of the unconscious parts of what really drives the way they evaluate and see the differences between different sources of water, for instance. And the method we're using is called repertory grid. Um, it's been used in psychology as part of cognitive behavioral um, therapy as well as more recently in marketing in the United States and elsewhere to get at what consumers use as they go in and choose between alternative brands or products. We're purposely selecting a range of typical kinds of villages from very remote rural villages where there's little water uh, development and then also looking at communities that are on the road where a lot of dynamic economic change is occurring, occupations are beginning to change, TV is coming in. And so we're trying to map out how these processes are changing the way people view and think about water for drinking in terms of many attributes, not just health. Um, and feed that back into the work that Watershed does in designing products that suit people's lifestyles and needs better, recognizing that we may have several different market segments that we need to address, even among the low-income market.